Hello and welcome everyone to another video by the AM Academy. Today what I want to do is show you the Shiny 3D Einscan H. It is a handheld uh, 3D scanner that uses both invisible infrared or visible structured LED light in order to pick up its objects. This makes it particularly useful to scan humans, to scan faces, to scan hair, anything where the uh, human that you're scanning could get very uncomfortable being blinded by the structured LED light, that's where the Einscan H comes in real handy because it has that invisible infrared light that makes this a breeze. So let's just have a look at what is in the box and what you can do with it. So after opening it up, the first thing out of the box is the calibration plate. You always have to calibrate a 3D scanner the first time you use it when you bring it to a very different environment with different lighting, such as we have here. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's a little uh, guide inside the calibration plate. And it is designed to show you how to set up the calibration plate when you actually initiate the process. We're not gonna do that just yet, so I'll just put this aside. Then what else do I have? Well, I've got a little foam block uh, to protect the scanner. I'm just going to lift up the case like this so you can see everything inside. Then there's the scanner itself, of course. There's a power brick to connect it to electricity. There are different adapters depending on your country to make sure the power brick can actually be plugged in. A four and a half meter long USB cable allowing you quite a range of freedom of movement. There's a USB stick with the software. And there's a pack of scanning markers. This is uh, specifically uh, for the marker alignment mode of your 3D scanner. So that's everything that's in the box. Let me close this back up. Put it back behind me where it's out of the way and then I can get the foam block. I forgot that one. Um, yeah, so that's everything that you need. You just connect the little uh, power plug adapter to your power brick, plug this into electricity Take the USB cable along because this one has to connect to the USB cable that then goes into the PC and the other end can go into your scanner. So once you've got that set up, I'll put the markers aside. We won't need those today. The software is already installed, so I don't need the USB stick for now. And all I'm left with on the table is the scanner and the calibration board. And that's what we'll look at now. Um, so. That's what the software looks like. I still need to use my USB cable to connect the scanner to the computer. So I do that, it lights up on the back to show me it has power. Plug in the USB as well. Wait for the computer to make its little bling that a USB device has been connected. There we go. And now I can go into the software and uh, I'll make it big so you can see it properly. And up here, there's a little like update button and I'm gonna click that. So it now connects to the scanning device. Um, sometimes there can be issues if you have other cameras connected to the same computer. So if you ever experience issues when trying to scan with your uh, handheld 3D scanners, um, disconnect your webcam if you do use one. Um, now, I wanna do the calibration. I don't actually wanna go into a scanning process. So I'm gonna click on the calibration up there. And uh, now the calibration is initialized which gives me the opportunity to once again show you the uh, guide that I have here and the calibration board. Now the calibration board is specific to your scanner. It is matched by a serial number in the top corner, so I cannot use this board with a different scanner. Uh, also, there are these little uh, frames at the bottom. They have to face down. That's to give you an orientation of which way around the board should be. So I'm just going to place it, as I said, with those areas down, uh, facing downwards onto the uh, guide that demonstrates what kind of an angle I should have it at. And now I simply follow the on-screen instructions. There are two different calibrations that you can do using the Einscan X. There's a quick calibration and a standard calibration. Now, if you've previously calibrated your scanner in your specific lighting environment, just use the quick calibration each time before you start, that'll yield better results. But if you take the scanner and put it somewhere completely new, different lighting setup, different rooms, whatever, do the standard calibration. That's what I'm gonna go through now. So up here, I'm just gonna click on the standard calibration. 
And now I have on-screen instructions on the side. So I'm supposed to hold my scanner 90 degrees to the side and uh, try to have the plus in the uh, center of my scanning device. And now I will simply move away slowly. And it will make sounds depending on whether it's happy or unhappy with me. And you can see how the bars on the side, they just slowly turn green as I move away. And that's what we want to do. That's what we have to do. And now I have to do this in different orientations. So I tilt it by 45 degrees. Same thing again. Start in close. Move farther away. All the bars turn green. I'm done. Rotate another 45 degrees. Now it's perfectly upright. Same procedure once more. I'll just move away. Make the scanning software big so you can see it for the last two, what exactly is happening here. So I start in close. And then I move further and further away. As you can see, you don't need to keep the plus exactly in the center the whole time, uh, but try to be at least kind of close to it. And now I rotate it 45 degrees for the last time. And then I've done a total of 180 degrees and each time did uh, the same movement going from close to far away, filling up all those bars on the side. And now the scanner software is calibrating, trying to uh, adjust its, uh, yeah, it's calibration. Then what you need to do, the next step will be a white balance calibration. So you just flip the board on its back so the white side is facing outward um, in order to do this white calibration. Another thing while this is calculating that I can quickly mention, it's important to not damage this board because if it is too damaged, your uh, calibration will be bad, it, it, it'll have errors, it'll not work at all maybe, or your accuracy will simply not be as high. So make sure you uh, take good care of this board and every time you're finished with it, put it back into the case where nothing can happen to it. You don't wanna scratch it, you don't wanna get it dirty, so just uh, get it out of the way. Calibration uh, succeeded. It gives me my calibration deviation, so I click next. And now, as I mentioned, it's the white balance. The white balance works a bit differently. It also has those bars on the side that can fill up in, in blue or be empty. As you can see, I press my start button on the back and uh, right now it's blue and I need that bar to be in the middle. So I need to be farther away. And now I need to hold it stationary. I don't wanna move as the scanner takes two photos at different lighting levels. And uh, if I had moved between those two photos too much, the white balance would fail. But I held it steady right there in the middle and uh, the white uh, ca balance calibration was successful. I click next, uh, the calibration is finished, it'll end and uh, now I'm able to start scanning. So, as I said, pack up the calibration board again, just flip it over, put the guide sheet inside, and close it up. There are magnets on the side, so it will close up nicely like this, and put it back into the case to prevent any damage or dirt getting onto your board. So, I'm ready to scan using the Einscan H scanner. I could scan body parts, I could scan faces, I can scan hair, or, I don't know, regular models of whatever you want. It has a texture scan mode uh, that picks up the, the surface color of your model. So for example, I could scan a shoe, including all the different colors that it has, including the mesh texture on the side, the uh, leather that is slightly reflective. All of this would be no issue using this scanner. And if you are interested in how that, that works, uh, do watch the webinar that we had uh, comparing the Einscan H and the HX. That's where I actually scanned this very shoe. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing. We upload a bunch of videos about 3D scanning, 3D printing, all that. And uh, we have webinars every other Friday at 10 CEST. So if you're interested in that, please do attend uh, or check it out. Other than that, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video, and I hope to see you next time. As always, have a wonderful day.